Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chow Vin Sung. Welcome to our Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. Today, let's find out more about tube implant surgery, which is a type of glaucoma surgery. Glaucoma is a condition in which the eye pressure is too high and it irreversibly damages the eye nerve. Tube implant surgery involves inserting a device into the eye, which lowers the eye pressure by draining fluid out. There are a few types of tube implants, all of which have a small tube as well as a larger plate attached. Your eye surgeon makes an incision in the conjunctiva, the outermost layer covering the white part of the eye. This allows the tube implant to be inserted underneath the conjunctiva. The plate is stitched to the sclera, the white outer wall of the eye. The tube is then inserted into the eye, stitched to the sclera and covered with a patch as well as with conjunctiva. After tube implant surgery, fluid flows out of the eye through the tube and spreads over the plate. The two main types of tubes used worldwide are the Barvel and the Armour tubes. Studies have shown that the Barvel tube is more effective in lowering eye pressure compared to the Armour tube, likely because it has a larger plate than the Armour. However, there are more complications associated with the Barvel tube, including a higher risk of low eye pressure, which can result in vision loss. In recent years, we have a new tube called the Paul Glaucoma Implant, or PGI for short. It has a smaller inner tube size of 0.1mm compared with 0.3mm for the Armit and Barvel tubes. The plate size of the PGI is larger than the Armit and more similar to the Barvel tube. Hence, early studies suggest that the efficacy of the PGI may be similar to the Barveld and better than the Armit, with a low rate of complications, including low eye pressure. Tube implant surgery is usually an outpatient procedure performed in the day surgery theatre. If you are on blood thinners, you may need to stop them before the surgery. Tube implant surgery is typically performed under general anesthesia, which means that you would be asleep during the procedure and will not feel any pain. In most cases, you will be able to go home on the same day. You may want to plan for someone to take you home after the procedure. You will be prescribed antibiotic and steroid eye drops to prevent infection and scarring. These eye drops may be required for several months and it is important to use them regularly as instructed by your doctor. Keep the operated eye clean, do not swim, and cover that eye with a shield when you sleep. Avoid heavy lifting or vigorous exercises until your eye pressure is stable. Tube implant surgery is an effective glaucoma surgery for lowering the eye pressure. But as with any procedure, there are potential complications. It is important to discuss these with your eye surgeon in detail. Besides tube implant surgery, there are other options for glaucoma surgery. Please watch these videos to find out more about the other types of glaucoma surgery. I hope that you enjoyed this video about tube implant surgery. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about other types of glaucoma surgery and about important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.